God bless you, my friend. Thanks for joining me. If you did not know, I wanted to show you biblically where Satan lives and stay till the end to know actually why is it important to know that where he lives. So let's go to the beginning. Genesis 1.1, it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Notice how heavens is plural. Heavens with an S, meaning that there's multiple heavens. And if you read the King James Version, you might see that it says something different here, which is why I got more than one verse to show you. 2 Corinthians 12.2. This is Paul speaking about what scholars say he's speaking about himself. He says, I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago, whether in the body I do not know, or whether out of the body I do not know, God knows, such a one was caught up to the third heaven. So third heaven meaning that there's a one and a two, right? Because if there's a three, there must be a one and a two. Ephesians 2 verse 1, And you Jesus made alive who were dead in trespasses and sins, in which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience, among whom also we all once conducted ourselves in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, just as the others. So Satan here is referred to as the prince of the power of the air, meaning that he lives and he dwells in the heavenlies, right? He's not down locked up in hell, which actually we see biblically Second Peter for I believe we see that yes some angels are there in hell but the prince of the power of the air who works in the sons of disobedience right he's roaming in the heavenly places Job 1 7 and the Lord said to Satan from where do you come so Satan answered the Lord and said from going to and fro on the earth and from walking back and forth on it. So Satan is here on the earth. He's walking back and forth. He's going up in the heavenlies, right? The second heaven is where Satan dwells. The second and the first heaven here on earth is where Satan is roaming. Now, why is this important? Let's go back to Ephesians. He's known as the prince of the power of the air. That we see this world that we live in, it's a product of the seeds that Satan has planted. You will see out there in the media, you can see that a lot of these songs come from seeds that Satan has sowed. You can look in the pharmaceutical, the health industry, you can look in the food industry. You can look in the sports industry. And you can see the prince of the power of the air at work. That he's sowing seeds into this world. And they are, you know, bearing wicked fruit. And these fruit are being passed down from generation to generation. That this world is getting more and more evil. More and more wicked. There's more confusion. People wanting to change genders, right? We live in the product of Satan's world. The way that God designed it was Adam and Eve in the garden. Everything was perfect until Adam and Eve chose disobedience, right? By one man, all of creation fell, and by one man, all of creation was restored. So why is this important? Let's go to Matthew 4, verses 8. This is when Jesus just leaves the wilderness, and now he's being tempted by Satan. Verse 8, again, The devil took Jesus up on an exceedingly high mountain and showed Jesus all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And Satan said to Jesus, All these things I will give you if you will fall down and worship 
me. So the temptation that Satan offers Jesus is all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. He says, hey, I'll give you all of this, right? I'll give you this riches. I'll give you this power if you fall down and worship me. And we see this same thing present in our world today. You can look at Hollywood or Hollywood, right? If you fall down and worship me, then all of these things will be given to you. So my friend, it's important to know that Satan isn't locked away in hell, but that he's here roaming on earth and he's dwelling in the second heaven. And the reason why it's important is because you are called as a citizen of the kingdom of God, as a servant of the Lord, to discern, to discern what's of God and what's not of God, to discern what systems Satan has broken into and corrupted, to discern what industries Satan has planted seeds and broken into and corrupted, to discern, hey, what circles, what families Satan has planted seeds thousands of years ago that are still bearing fruit in those families so you can come and shine the light, shine the truth, speak the blessing, speak the encouragement, speak the word of God. However, God wants to use you to change nations, to change industries, to change your workplace, to change your family, or even just, you know, one other soul that's so mighty for the kingdom of God. So now that you know where Satan lives, use this information to pray and discern and to build the kingdom of God with your prayers and with your actions and with the wise discernment that God has given you. God bless you, my friend. I'll see you on the next episode.